Hey, what's going on everyone? Dan here as usual, and today I'm going to be bringing you another Unity 3D tutorial. And in today's tutorial I'm just going to cover something pretty simple and easy to cover, and it's going to be like a score system, as recommended by one of my viewers. Anyway, so it, it's relatively simple to set up, so we'll go ahead and get started with that right now. So, if you've been following along, you should have something along the lines of this right here. So what we can do right now is we can kind of move around, we can fire, and we've got this guy that follows us. And we can kill him, and then we can kind of just kill ourselves. That That's about it. So, yeah, not a whole lot happening, not a, a whole lot of things. Yeah, uh, don't know where I was going with that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a score system, so that way we can keep track of how many of these guys we kill. Sounds simple enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started. So... What we're going to need is we're going to need a uh, game object. So we're going to go to game object, create other, and we're going to create a GUI text. So go ahead and create that. And this I typically just open it up in this screen in the game view. So that way you can kind of see where it's going to be positioned on your screen. And then you just kind of position it as you would. So I'm going to do uh, uh, 0 0.25. One no point seven five. Too far over. One five. And then I'm gonna scale it up. Okay, no, that does not scale. I forgot that. Uh, where is it? 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 Font size. Nope. Incorrect. There we go. And then you can kind of just change the color as you want. I'm just gonna make it red so it stands out more. And that's all we have to do in the game. Next, what we have to do is create the script. So we're going to go ahead and create JavaScript. And you can name this whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it GUI, uh, GUI Text Handler. And then once you created it, you can go ahead and open it up. And once it's loaded, we're going... Oh yeah, I already have enemy, enemy movement opened up. You're going to want that opened up too. So you're going to want... Uh, the script you just created and your enemy movement because we're going to need to do something in here too so in GUI text handle you can just go ahead and get rid of all that I never use it anyway so we're going to create two variables in here the first one we're going to do is var uh, GUI and this is just going to be a plain old game object now we're going to do a new type of variable called a static variable and what this means is I can call the variable from a different script and I'll, I'll explain this more once we set it up so static var is going to be score and it's going to be an int and we don't need to put anything after that so automatically registers as a zero and then we're going to just need the function update perhaps if I spelled it right that'd be the best thing and in here we're just going to do something really simple. We're going to do GUI dot get component, and inside we're going to do in quotations GUI text, and outside we're going to do dot that text, and then we're going to set that equal to this. So we're going to do uh, quotations. You can put whatever you want in here, but I'm just going to do score, and then outside of the quotations we're going to do a plus and then score and so what this is going to be doing is it's going to be looking for the component of our game object GUI and it's going to find the parameter for text and we're going to set it equal to this string plus our integer score so as of right now this does absolutely nothing so if we were to go back into the game and we'll need a an object that will hold this so you can go game object create other and you can name this whatever you want I'm just going to do uh, the GUI text handler again and center it because I hate when things are not centered and then we're just going to go ahead and drag the GUI text handler onto it and then select our GUI text and drag it into the game object slot. So if we go ahead and hit play, 
as you can see, it says score is equal to zero. And as we killed him, nothing happened to it. So we have to go back in and we have to adjust some things. So we can go ahead and reopen this. And in enemy movement, under the if death, then destroy game object, we're going to do... Oh, we're going to do the name of your script, so GUI text handler dot score plus equals any number you want. I'm just doing 100. So what this is doing is it's accessing our script and taking the variable that we just declared right here. So our static variable is score. So what we're doing is we're calling it from a different script and we're adding stuff from here. So, if we go back into Unity, and we go ahead and take this guy out, as you can see, we got 100 points added to our score. So, that that's that, and I'm just going to add a bunch of these other guys in so we can kind of, so I can show you that it works for other things. There we go. Die. There we go. As you can see, it added 100 each time we killed an enemy. So, yeah, that's that. There are two ways of doing the the um, the GUI. You could do the in-game one that I showed you, where you use the GUI text object and then there's a more complicated version in the scripting and I think I'll cover the more complicated version in the next tutorial um, but as of right now this does work so you can use this and it's I would prefer using the scripted version just because you can kind of based upon what screen size the, the um, player will be using you can adjust it there, but uh, since this is mostly just a tutorial to kind of show you how to do some things, I will just show you this first, and then I'll show you the uh, the other uh, scripting version. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So, got any ideas, comments, suggestions, stuff? in general. Just leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond within a reasonable amount of time. And yeah, that that's about it. So thanks again for watching and goodbye.